Happy New Year! Year. <laughs> well, Chris, it's been quite a year of make or breaks. Many of the stories dominating our platforms here at KUAM in 2018. From the Trump tax reforms affecting Gov Guam to the island's only public hospital losing accreditation, here are the top 10 stories of 2018 to ring in your new year. The Guam Memorial Hospital suffered a major blow in July when the Joint Commission revoked the hospital's accreditation. Hospital Board Vice Chair Lillian Posada said a wide range of deficiencies were cited. There were many. Uh, some were facilities and structural, some were processes, such as you know, performance improvement, um, activities and engagement with uh, all the staff. Posada says the citations were a mix of management and financial issues, with a lot of overlap. The hospital not only lost accreditation, but was under the threat of being kicked off Medicare and Medicaid programs. Although the feds eventually accepted the hospital's corrective action plan, Governor DiCavo says the only way to solve the systematic problems at the hospital is for lawmakers to focus on a long-term permanent fix or a dedicated funding source. We've had numerous governors for 40-some years. And I can go back to the first governor, Calvo, and the first headline where vendors were going to cut payments to the hospital. It's always been a funding shortfall. Prime Chamorro Landros lots in Barragata Heights given to land management employees and their relatives. KUA News blew the lid off one of the most controversial stories of 2018. When we researched just who was getting lots in the CLTC's Barragata Heights inventory, we presented our findings to land management director Michael Borja. He said he was shocked that his employees appeared to have hooked up themselves and their relatives. But in ironic plot twists, Borja confessed that he himself did the same thing. I did have a relative that got a lot on Barrett Heights. Which, how closely related to my sister. Borja's sister, Catherine Borja, receiving a Chamorro Land Trust lot in Barragata Heights. Her name came up on the list. Was it done properly? Yeah, I think so. Do you feel like you should have, like, recused yourself from handling that or maybe had the deputy sign off on it? Probably. So why didn't you think? Was convenience. Land management employees, their relatives, high-ranking Gov Guam officials, the son of a former chief prosecutor, even a sitting senator, winning the CLTC lottery and well on their way to moving into expensive lots with a million dollar view, with some of the lots appraised at nearly a million dollars. Borja tried to tell KUA News everyone who got a lot in Barragata Heights was a 1995 applicant, but the CLTC's own documents show that wasn't the case at all. Switching places in line, employees and their children getting lots, some applicants just three years old in 1995. Just some of the things we discovered that led to a three-month review of the CLTC leases after the Attorney General of Guam said CLTC leases fell into two categories, voidable and null and void. At the end of the day, the CLTC found what was happening in Barragata Heights was par for the course and decided it would be too difficult to deal with how rampant rule-breaking, ultimately passing the buck to the legislature for legislative relief. The battle over the budget and the impact of the Trump tax cuts led to intense debate during a series of special sessions at the Guam Congress building. From tax increases, proposals of a 32-hour week, furloughs, shutting down police and fire stations, nothing was off the table. If you're going to allow me that responsibility for signing someone's layoff, I'm looking at every one of you straight in the eye and say resign because you did not work with this administration to keep this government stable and to keep this economy moving forward. We are working and we are working very hard to find other solutions, but I ask that you come before this body without harassing us. It's unprofessional and I have so much respect for you, but I don't appreciate you coming in here and harassing us, threatening us, if we don't vote your way, that you're going to call for our resignation. Faced with a more than $70 million shortfall brought on by Trump tax cuts, the administration fought hard for a BPT increase to raise revenue to help with the hemorrhaging. The back and forth between Adaloo and the legislature would go on for weeks, and threats became a reality when cost-cutting measures were implemented by Adaloo. Public safety departments were first on the chopping block. This is no, nothing less, Madam Chairman, than a blatant hostage taking of our people with the intent of forcing a tax increase down their throats. 
This body is getting called into special session after special session after special session at midnight. And our people are being submerged in a climate of fear for their safety. In the end, the entire island felt the impact of the Trump tax cut proposals to their pocketbooks. And Chris, many things did not make our countdown, including those public health closures that happened throughout this year. That along with several fights that were caught on camera at our island's public schools. So what's next? Our countdown continues after the break. What's that? An offer insurance customer needs a claim settled immediately? I'm on it. Agent Alpha. In the event of an accident, theft, or breakdown, each of our Alpha Insure agents are trained to go above and beyond. This is my stop. There she is. Target acquired. Agent Alpha. Yes! At Pizza Hut, we're more than a big dinner box that delivers everyone's favorite choices. We're those holiday nights when everything really is merry and bright. No one out pizzas the hut. Smiling is a natural response to joy, happiness, and excitement. Your smile reveals a lot about who you are. A healthy, beautiful smile can brighten your appearance and be an invitation to conversation and friendship. It is often one of the first things people notice about you. Now, thanks to the advancements in dentistry, you can have the smile you have always wanted, giving you an improved smile that looks and feels great. My silver fillings that I have, they're getting older in my mouth and I need to replace them. So I've started to do that and I've replaced them with the white fillings and I've had really great success with that. It looks good, they feel natural, and it kind of goes hand in hand with the bleaching. I want my, a white look all around my mouth. Be bright and make shopping all right with holiday gift cards from Chuck E. Cheese's Guam, Ruby Tuesday, and King's Restaurants. Receive special offers with every purchase for extra holiday happiness. See stores for details and have fun this season from all of us at the GFS Group. GU Self Storage, conveniently located near the Harmon McDonald's, offers fully covered loading and unloading area with individual pin-coated gate and door access. Call us today at 648-7867 for more information. Chris, we had much of the attention, all eyes set on Guam and the Marianas once again, similar to what we saw in 2017 whenever the North Korea threat happened. This year, Super Typhoon U2. And aside from those scares, safe to say there was a lot of heartbreak here at home with the lives lost on our island's roads. The year 2018 unfortunately saw great tragedy as our island had more than 20 traffic-related fatalities on our roadways. Such horrific events didn't discriminate, taking place in villages from north to south and involving Guamanians of all ages and backgrounds. We lost too many neighbors due to a variety of reasons. The Guam Police Department has significantly ramped up its efforts to deter driving while under the influence of alcohol and or drugs. Likewise, the Department of Public Works is working to ensure the roads are safe and have traction to keep from slipping. But this didn't change the very harrowing effect that more than two dozen people are no longer part of our community. As we head into 2019, we can all agree we should together commit to safer commutes no matter where we go on Guam. 
Super Typhoon U2 dealt a devastating blow to our brothers and sisters in the CNMI, wiping out critical infrastructure, government services, and leaving more than 1,000 residents without a home. During this tragedy, Guamanians stepped up to help during the recovery by donating canned goods, batteries, and other basic necessities. Boot drives were held, multiple fundraisers, and Gov Guam resources and manpower were deployed, including personnel from the Guam Power and soldiers from the Guam National Guard. I told them to take care of themselves, but then at the same time, uh, remember that these are our brothers and sisters up there and do everything they can be uh, to get that island, the, the Northern Marianas, back to normalcy. I consider them now the guardian angels of the Northern Marianas as well. Several local businesses, including Guam Communications, through our campaign for a cause, U2 drive through Donation Drive, also pitched in to help with recovery efforts by assisting donations for organizations like the Hadza Foundation and the Azuda Foundation. The response has been great and we're really happy. We, we believe that this is going to be an ongoing effort for the next several months because of the, the need is great. March 2018, a Vatican Tribunal found Archbishop Anthony Apron guilty of certain accusations involving child sex abuse perpetrated when he was serving as a priest at Mount Carmel Church in Agate. I convey my deepest apologies to Mr. Roy Quintanitza, Mr. Walter Denton, Mr. Roland Paul Sundia, and the late Joseph Sonny Kinata for the tremendous damage inflicted upon each of you. His successor, Archbishop Michael Byrne, said a new journey has begun. Post Aperon. We are becoming a better church. We continue to work toward healing and restoration of all who have been victimized by clergy sexual abuse on Guam through a number of ways. We include Hope and Healing in Initiative, which continues, which among other things have prov helped provide professional counseling to our wounded brethren. We continue to work with survivors of clergy abuse and their lawyers to settle all the case fairly and amicably. Although the specifics of the verdict were not released by the Vatican, Abron has appealed it. First of all, you know, I want to reiterate that Archbishop Anthony was in fact acquitted you know, of the majority of the charges against him. I think that this is an important fact that has been underplayed uh, by many of the media outlets that are out there. There is an appellate process in place, and he has already appealed the finding of guilty. We are now more than halfway through our countdown. Can you guess what else made the list? We'll find out after the break. Every day a plus. Here's to the flavorful. Those unafraid to show their signature style, signature moves, signature everything. You add the spice that makes life interesting. So to you, we raise a sandwich as flavorful as you are for McDonald's signature crafted recipes. Try the new savory creamy mushroom and Swiss burger, part of the signature crafted recipes lineup, only at McDonald's. 
Celebrate New Year's Eve in style with 3 2 1 at the Ducatani Guam Resort for the ultimate countdown to 2019. Partygoers get an all access outdoors pass to Tossie Grill and the poolside, plus the award winning Lobby Lounge. For entertainment, join the virtuosos of Monster Squad and DJ J. Edwards, featuring open bar with free flowing Pomeray Champagne, Heineken, and all you can enjoy appetizers. It's three locations, two acts, and one unforgettable night. Visit 321 Ducat. Dot eventbrite.com for tickets or call 648-8000 for more information. Please enjoy responsibly. The 2019 Guam Phone Book is coming your way. The Guam Phone Book will be delivered soon to military distribution points and businesses island-wide. Look out for it at local gas stations, retailers, Rev and Tax, or at Yellow Pages, Inc., located inside the it e office in Harmon Industrial Park. From print, online, and the Phone Book app, the Guam Phone Book caters to all generations, baby boomers, millennials, and Generation Z. The selling season for the 2020 Guam Phone Book begins January 2019. To give your business or agency the endless exposure it deserves, call 472-3495 today. The Guam Phone Book, most seen, most used, and most trusted phone book on island. Are you interested in a healthier lifestyle? Lose weight and feel great with the Boca Box. Guam's first nutritionally sound meal prep service and healthy cafe. They offer fresh and healthy meals to support your lifestyle. Choose from any of our paleo, keto, low calorie, active performance, or specialized macro meal plans to help you reach your goals. Give us a call at 922 BOCA. That's 922 2652. Or visit our cafe in Agania to learn more about our holiday specials going on right now. The Boca Box, real nutrition made daily. And this has been a rather tough year for the FD Friars, ending the school year with the passing of its longtime vice principal, athletic director, and mentor to many, as well as their principal, Tony Thompson. And just as it ended, the FD community started the school year on a somber note with the tragic passing of Xavier Akima. He was only 15 years old. In August, Xavier Akima was with his classmates from Father Duenas Memorial School, who went on a hike to San Carlos Falls. They were all having fun. That is until... We noticed some thunder and that's when we knew like it was going to rain. So we wanted to get out of there as fast as we could. And going up the stream, it was the flash flooding started and the waters were getting strong. So Xavier and Elijah kind of crossed to the other side before everyone else. Xavier, however, fell into the raging river and was swept away. After nearly three days of searching, the body was found approximately a mile and a half inland from the Pago Bay Bridge. Turning this tragedy into something positive, the FD class of 2020 launched the Xbox campaign in his memory. 16-year-old Christian Titano. Today we'll be executing the delivering of the Xbox. So basically what it is, is it's going to be a survival kit and we're going to place them into different hiking locations, thanks to the fire department. And just in case anyone has an emergency on a hike, just like how we did, they won't have to be helpless or anything. They'll have tools and equipment to use. The Xboxes were presented to the Akima family for the Guam Fire Department to distribute. The campaign is aimed at preventing a tragedy like this from happening again, and a gesture to keep X's memory alive. The students also launched a PSA campaign on hiking safety Broadcasting here on KUAM Communications. For months, police were searching for the suspect who murdered 15-year-old Tamika Nalta. Her family devastated to find her inside their home along Chalankota in Dededo. We miss her so much. In June, Tamika was found dead in her bedroom. It wasn't until late October police got a breakthrough in the investigation when an inmate at the Department of Corrections came forward with critical information. The inmate told investigators that Brandon Acosta confided in him that he had killed the teenager. Acosta was already in custody for separate burglary, theft, and drug possession charges. Is your name Brandon Michael Acosta? Yes, Your Honor. A magistrate's complaint has been filed against you by the people of Guam, accusing you of aggravated murder as a first degree felony, special allegation possessing use of a deadly weapon, and the commission of a felony. Notice. 
commission of a felony while felony release. Two, home invasion as a first degree felony. Special allegation. Court documents state it was a burglary gone bad. Costa had been burglarizing homes in the Dededo neighborhood in the days leading up to Nalta's killing. He told police he didn't mean to kill the girl and that it was a mistake. He stated he had entered her bedroom and it was dark. Tamika had been startled. He also stated his methamphetamine addiction made him do things he wouldn't do otherwise. Acosta had pleaded not guilty to aggravated murder, murder, and home invasion. 2018 ended with a bang for outgoing Lieutenant Governor Ray Tenorio. I apologize to you. And there could be more fireworks in 2019 for the misdemeanor charges he faces in the barbecue block party gun grabbing incident. In September, the Lieutenant Governor was charged with reckless conduct, obstructing government functions and official misconduct for repeatedly grabbing a veteran police officer's pistol from behind because he believed it was improperly holstered. Tenorio also admitted to drinking two to three beers at the time. I don't believe a crime was committed. I, I did this for the right reason, to protect public safety and the officer. Uh, I didn't do it to take possession of the firearm. And so again, I apologize to the officer uh, and to the Guam Police Department and law enforcement in general, the governor, the chief of police, and the people of Guam. Despite repeated apologies and calling the incident a teachable moment, Tenorio and his attorney, Tom Fisher, took aim at the AG's office questioning the timing of the charges. I never imagined uh, this uh, intention, which was well intended, uh, to try to help um, protect the officer and the public would be um, blown out of proportion to this extent. Not to mention the Attorney General's brought this charge right in the middle of a general election. It wouldn't have happened anywhere else. This is just mind-boggling. Mind-boggling. It has the appearance of trying to put your thumb on the scales. Tenorio has pleaded not guilty to the charges and is scheduled to appear back in court in March of next year. Now we are ready to take a look at the number one story of the year. Which we will get to when your KUM Top 10 Countdown returns. Visitors make memories on our island. They contribute millions of dollars every year to our community. So what does that mean? Tourism keeps our island's culture alive. And it strengthens our identity as Chamoru. Tourism creates opportunities for local businesses to thrive. The dishes I create feature local ingredients. Ingredients come from local farms and create local jobs for farmers like us. For every job we see in tourism, there are hundreds more we don't see. From teachers, to babysitters, to engineers, we, we all, all work, work in, in the tourism industry. industry. Our visitor industry benefits everyone. It improves our income and gives back to our community. We need more opportunities for a better Guam. Guam's Auto Appearance Specialist, Elegant Reflections, has been providing the automotive industry with professional detailing and car care products at its highest quality from complete detailing, full interior detailing, exterior detailing, headlamp restoration, hand washing, seat and carpet shampoo, engine degreasing, undercarriage cleaning, paint sealant, fabric protection, paint oxidation removal, and so much more. Visit us at our new location. Call 646-5555 for an appointment. Elegant Reflections, Guam's Auto Appearance Specialist. Over 20 years of experience. Three, two, one. Happy New Year! Join us for GVB's New Year's Eve Fireworks and Food Truck Festival. Enjoy live entertainment, activities for the kids, food trucks, and a free fireworks show at midnight. It all happens on New Year's Eve beginning at 5 p.m. at the beautiful Governor Joseph F. Flores Memorial Park EPAL. Please join us in thanking our sponsors for making this family GVB signature event possible. Happy New Happy Year! New Year. 
This year is rapidly coming to an end, and the big finish is now on at Cars Plus and Mighty. Get big year-end deals on a big selection of new Ram trucks with savings up to $10,500. Or save up to $5,500 on a new Chrysler Pacifica. How about a new Jeep Compass? Save up to $5,000. With financing as low as 1.99%. Plus, receive a Cars Plus Shell Value Card with every vehicle purchase. The big finish means big savings right now at Cars Plus and Mighty. Cars Plus, driven by you. Now rounding out your top 10 countdown, let's just say, Nick, who run the world? Yeah, if you haven't guessed it, our number one story for 2018 is Decision 2018. It was an election year like no other in Guam history after a record number of Democrat teams went head-to-head -head in the primary election and through a face-off in the general election, ultimately Guam elected its first ever female governor, Lulian Guerrero, and Josh Tenorio as lieutenant governor. The Democrats secured the 50 plus one majority needed to win. We are extremely grateful for the opportunity given to us to make a positive change for all of our people. And in a stunning defeat, Senator Michael San Nicolas ousted longtime Guam delegate Madeline Berdalio, securing his spot as Guam's new congressperson. And in the Guam legislature, we are seeing an historic female majority. This is a wonderful moment to see some of maybe that matrilineality just continuing along and seeing what females um, and the way, different ways that we might be thinking of being very community oriented a lot of times, being very family oriented a lot of times, uh, how we might be making some differences. And this has been a rather busy year. We want to thank all our viewers for joining us along for it, those who have sent in all your news tips and those videos. Have a safe celebration out there as we welcome in 2019. Thank you. Next. Happy New Year. Bye.